It started out to be a quiet evening at Bell's Lodge Nursing Home until Skylab dropped in. This is Bell's Lodge. We have an emergency. Send help now. And that's how Bell's Lodge and Phoenix General Hospital complied with the state law tonight, a law which requires emergency drills in nursing homes and hospitals. The drill involved everyone. Candy stripers posed as victims. Nursing home staff rendered immediate aid. Newsmen got in the way. And medical help sped the injured away, sometimes by foot, since a hospital was conveniently across the street from where the space junk supposedly fell. And while the doctors, interns, and nurses performed admirably tonight, in this case, the real Oscar belongs to the victims. <laughs> and the not-so-amateurish actors gave some young physicians a workout, throwing at them every possible reaction to such a catastrophe. It required not only quick medical skill, but organizational know-how, too. It's quite an operation to throw together. It requires so much timing. I call it choreography. There are well over probably three to 400 people involved with hospital employees, their employees, and the junior volunteers who are acting as victims. But even in the midst of the confusion, patients receive speedy care under the hands of confident, stern-faced medical personnel. And just when things seemed under control, enter the distraught mother. As in any catastrophe, there are those who didn't make it. But if this part of Phoenix is blessed with a piece of space junk tomorrow, some people will be that much better prepared to greet it. Randy Ripplinger, Cool News 10.